What's up, guys? Shuckle King here for my Week 2 matchup for MLBA versus Ultra Player and the New York Metagross. Now, his link is going to be in the description there. Please support him. He got a win last week, so he's a pretty tough opponent here. Uh, I just want to make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe this video. Uh, subscribe to me and subscribe to Ultra Player. He has very uh, great content. He's a funny guy, uh, so definitely look out for him. And he has a very cool team, which you can see in the corner here. Uh, from most threatening to least threatening is Alolan Marowak, Mega Latios, Zeraora, I'm not quite sure you say that with Z moves, Cabalion, Galissapod, Nidoqueen, Florges, Torneye with Z moves, Umbreon, Leafeon, and Kangaskhan. Now I have uh, Alolan Marowak as the most threatening, just, I mean, I know I have a Naga, Nigadal, and a Land of I to, to kill it pretty easily, but everything else in my team it handles very well. Uh, it handles Skarm great, it handles the Alolan Ninetales, can't do much to it. Mew can't do a ton, I guess, besides knockoff. But I don't want to take a Shadow Bone from this. Uh, Lanoon, it can do a lot of damage with Flare Blitz and Kill before I can get a hit off. Thundee T, it, has a, it could have a Lightning Rod to make Thundee T useless. Uh, Mega Gallade can't hit it that hard. Even with knockoff, it won't kill. Marowak will do a lot back. And uh, I guess Kingler also does pretty well against Marowak, but that's a, it's a pretty interesting bring there. Uh, Mega Latios is such a big threat, uh, especially like a defensive set I could see bringing. He could definitely bring an offensive set with like Ice Beam and Outspeed the Lando T and kill that. Uh, he has a lot of versatility with Mega Latios there. Zerora, uh, the big problem with this is it's so fast that it outspeeds my uh, entire team uh, max uh, speed investment, which is Nagan Adele. So Zerora can uh, run Adamant and still add speed by Nag and Adele. So that's very annoying. Uh, its coverage is kind of limited to like fighting moves and electric moves. So I feel like I should have pretty decent ways around that. Uh, other than that, his team is not terribly threatening. Uh, Glissapod is up there. as an annoyance for sure. Uh, it can get spikes up. It threatens my uh, Mew. And uh, threatens my uh, Ninetales. I can't do a whole lot if I bring Freeze Dry. Land of I can't do a ton to it, believe it or not. Uh, I guess it also handles the Mega Gallade pretty well. So Glissapod is something he could definitely bring there. Uh, I don't really expect, like, Leafeon or Kangaskhan to come. Uh, especially Leafeon, just because Nag and Adele, again, kind of ruins that. And a Kangaskhan, I have pretty good defensive checks for that. But everything else he could bring. Uh, and he has a lot of, he has a bulkier team, too, which is, uh, not as common with, uh, most drafts here. So the three Pokemon I feel like have the best matchup first is obviously Nag and Adele. That's a very hard uh, switch into. Uh, again, I have to worry about Adam and Scar's Aurora. Can I revenge kill me if I get weakened somehow? Uh, otherwise, he has like a special defensive Nidoqueen could take a, a, a Draco. And a special defensive Florges can I come in predicting my uh, Z Draco. And uh, be a nuisance there. And uh, Florges can also have Psychic to be a deterrent. But other than that, unless if he's like... Max HP, max special defense, assault vests with any of his mons. I can basically take out anything with, a, especially a plus two uh, Draco, even with that uh, the Z move. Uh, another thing is Linoon is has a pretty good matchup. Now he does have Cabalion, and that's why I kind of expect that to be brought because otherwise Linoon pretty much destroys his team. Uh, Mega Latios can also take a hit, but it's not going to want to take a 70th percent from a Linoon because I can revenge kill that pretty easily. In that regards. And if he's a more defensive spread, then uh, Mega Latios can't do a ton of damage to Lanoon. Uh, Lanner's Eye is another big threat just because Earth Power basically hits everything. It doesn't hit the Glissapod, it doesn't hit the Latios, obviously doesn't hit the Torneye either. But uh, especially the Glissapod, I don't have a ton for it. I could run like Rock Slide and be like a minus Bedef or minus defense nature, but that doesn't seem too ideal. And uh, I don't have a whole lot for Megalodios, but everything else gets wrecked by uh, Earth Power. So, like, even, like, a Rock Polish offensive set could be very annoying to deal with for his team. Um, so, the actual team I brought here, first Pokemon, I'm going to start naming my, nicknaming my ones if I remember, is Wincon, Nagan Adele. I would substitute Dragon Meteor, Sludge Wave, Fire Blast. So, I'm not running uh, Nasty Plat this week. Um, I could, and it might, might be easier to break through his walls. But I feel like I could also uh, break through as well just by having Substitute. Now, Substitute is nice in regards to that. It can uh, say if he wants to sack off one of his uh, bulky mons from Revenge Kill with uh, Zerora, I can get a Substitute up, probably kill whatever 
he switches in with Sludge Wave, and then I have a negative Del behind a substitute. And he's going to have a very difficult time to break through that. Um, maybe I could have run Nasty Plot over Fire Blast, but I wanted a more reliable way to hit a Cabalion, because V brings like a bulkier spot, I couldn't do anything to that otherwise. Uh, next Pokemon I have is Lanoon. Max HP, max attack, uh, Belly Drum, E Speed, Stomping Tantrum, Return. Uh, e Speed, obviously, for the priority. I want to have max attack to, uh, or uh, max HP to live most hits in general. Uh, I could go like a specialized defensive or special defensive spread, but max HP is usually sufficient enough. And I didn't really find any calcs where like a more defensive and more special defensive spread helps anymore. Uh, I have Stomping Tantrum to hit the uh, Alolan Marowak and Return just to hit uh, like his bulkier walls might be able to live uh, E-Speed if it's like max HP, max defense, but Return is uh, 22 more base power than Extreme Speed. So that difference can uh, come into effect, especially because it's their most dead moves. Uh, and then I have, uh, if you guys can figure out the nickname for a Lanoon, uh, props to you, uh, Jeremy. Next I have a Bodyguard. Uh, Landry's, because look at those arms, you're not going to pass him. Uh, a bulkier spread this week. Uh, enough speed to outspeed most of his walls, I would imagine. Uh, with Earth Power, Rock Slide, Stealth Rock U turn. Um, Stealth Rock, obviously, a nice move to have to chip his team to maybe get uh, Oko's with uh, my Win Con. Uh, U turn is for momentum and to really hit the Mega Latios hard, so I can't hit it too hard otherwise. Earth Power just hits his team pretty hard otherwise. Rock Slide hits the. Uh, the uh, Glissopod and the Tornida can take Earth Powers otherwise. Um, next I have Mew with a lot of HP and defense investment and some speed again to add speed moves to his walls. And a Toxic's there to hit the uh, Mega Latios, really. Uh, and then Roost, Heal Bell, Heal Bell in case he wants to defeat uh, my Mew with uh, status. I can Heal Bell that off, no problems. Roost for longevity. Psychic for general damage to a get a uh, kills quicker. It also handles the Zoro Aura a little bit better, and he has like a substitute mon I want away to actually hit them. Um, and then more uh, defense investment and special defense because uh, this takes on uh, Zoro Aura very, very well. And Zoro Aura can't do too much to me even with a special attack investment. Uh, next I have a uh, Robin Williams, a Thunder Therian. A uh, very interesting set this week for sure. Uh, so I actually have Max Attack Adamant uh, with enough speed to uh, outspeed uh, Zerora, uh, if it's not a uh, choice scarfed. Uh, Crunch hits the uh, Mega Latias pretty hard. Uh, if it's not defensive, it takes like 55, 60 ish percent. Uh, U turn is there for a uh, momentum throughout the match with a uh, Muted Queen around, which is usually a pretty good answer. Uh, but I do have Psychic on this, even with a minus special attack nature, I get to a KO Nido Queen. Unless he's like a very special defensive spread there. And Thunderbolt, again, even without max special attack investment, I can Oko a Torn Eye with Thunderbolt. I wouldn't be able to Oko it with a Volt Switch, that's why I have Thunderbolt on it instead. And the last Pokemon I have, Eugene, the big threat here, Kingler, with a Liquidation, X Scissor, Sword Stance, Agility. Sheer Force Liquidation hits like a truck. I mean, you have, uh, you have Nidoqueen, you have Florgis, you have Umbreon. Uh, you have Alolan Marowak, they all get destroyed by, uh, Liquidation. They take, like, 70-ish percent, even with, a uh, defense investment for some of them. It's just insane damage. Excessor is there to hit the, uh, Leafeon and the, uh, Megalodius. If I can get a, uh, Agility up, I'll outspeed those and kill them. Uh, the speed investment, again, is, uh, outspeed Zerora, as long as it's not Choice Scarf at plus two with the Agility. And Sword Stance can also break his more bulkier team. If I feel like I want to sleep later on and he has more of his faster threats around, I can agility. It'd be a nuisance because I have more speed. And same with attack. If it's a more bulkier team left at the end of the game, I can sword stance and do a ton of damage to get those kills that I probably wouldn't get otherwise. Uh, so that's the team. Let's see how well I do in the match. Okay, so as we can see from his team here, uh, he does not bring the Alola Marowak, which is very, very nice. Uh, that was a big nuisance to my team, so it's very great that I don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, my Thunderous can, uh, spam Thunderbolt pretty well, I guess. Uh, Nido Queen's also there, which can be an issue, but I have Psychic for that. Uh, just very nice I don't have to deal with that. Uh, Mew is a little bit of a bigger threat. Uh, Lanoon doesn't really have to worry about Stomping Tantrum as much. I'm pretty free to click a Return or E-Speed, depending. Uh, so that's very nice, because, uh, I'm going to be out by Cabalion either way with Lanoon. So, Stomping Tantrum's not going to really come into effect this game. Uh, unless, maybe, 
actually wouldn't even do more damage in return because of stab to a Nita Queen. Uh, so on his team here, uh, Megalodius, very annoying, expecting like a defensive, like Calm Mind, Recover, Stored Power, Psychic Set, um, something on the lines of that. Uh, I have to figure out in the match what his uh, Nagata Delve switch in is. Uh, it could be the Cabalion, like a special defenses set. could be the Nita Queen. Uh, it could also be the Forges. Uh, that's a possibility to take a, a Z Draco. So I got to watch out for that. And I'm assuming it's going to be Scarfed Adamant Zeraora to outspeed my Nagata Delve. But we'll find it out throughout the match. I start with my Land OI uh, just to get rocks up early on, which is very cool. But he has a Torn Eye, and I don't want to die to a Hidden Power Ice. So I'm going to switch my Mew to take any hit pretty comfortably. Now he goes for the Z Hurricane here, which does a ton of damage. But I love that, which is very cool. I could go into my Thunderous and live any other hit, assuming he wants to kill me off. He goes for the Taunt. Um, weird play. Maybe he didn't have a knockoff or something to a guaranteed kill my uh, my Mew in that regard. Or maybe it's like a very bulky spread. I'm not quite sure why he went for the Taunt there as opposed to just trying to kill my Mew. But that's nice because my uh, Thunder is at full HP now. And I can safely U-turn. Uh, expecting the Latias come in. And it does does a lot of damage. Uh, from this damage I can actually tell he's a probably max HP and maybe some defense. Uh, so he's probably not going to be a... Uh, very offensive spread here, which is good to know. Uh, he could also be like max HP, max speed is definitely a possibility. Uh, so I go into my Naganadel there and predicting him to uh, go into either like Nina Queen or Cabalion or Florges. Uh, I'm going to double switch in the Mew, partially because I want to see what his Naganadel answer is, but I also want to get some uh, HP investment from Roost uh, on my Mew, and I should outspeed any of these Pokemon, except maybe like a fast Cabalion, but I should be able to live a hit. Uh, so I go for the Roost here, get my HP up, he goes for Rocks, which are annoying, but not the biggest deal in the world to my team, except for the Thunders, that wears that down quite a bit. And I don't have hazard removal, which is unfortunate. Um, so I'm going to go for, go for the Psychic there, goes for the good switch into a Latias, and I want to Toxic this right away, so it's not as big of a threat. Yes, he could go in the Forges and a Heal Belt later, but I want to get as much damage off as possible. Goes for the Sub, so it's probably a Sub Roost, or recover Calm Mind Psychic set. That's going to be annoying to deal with. Uh, so I'm going to go into my uh, somewhat Megalodia Sanctuary in a, in a Thunderous T and go for the Crunch. Deal decent amount of damage. He goes for the uh, Psy Shock. The Psy Shock is actually going to bring me down just enough so that way uh, rocks are going to kill me after my next switch. So I figured I might as well just stay in and Crunch, get, all, get a hit off on whatever. Uh, he goes into his Forges here. Based on that damage, I know he's not max defensive. He has a lot of bulk, though, uh, HP bulks, which is pretty common. Goes for a Moonblast and does decent damage. I don't think it's max special attack, but it definitely has some uh, special attack investment there. So I'm going to Roost. I should be able to beat this 1v1. Go for the Calm Line, but uh, with my Toxic, I should be able to beat this pretty easily. Um, so I don't think, he'd think he has Synthesis on this set. Uh, goes for the Moonblast, gets the special attack, drop. It's not too big of a deal. I can root up and probably beat this 1v1. He doesn't have leftovers, which is uh, interesting to note. Um, and now he's going to get a free uh, substitute off with the Megalodios. I go in and sack my uh, Thunderous. And I have to bring in an answer to this, which is going to be my... Uh, my Noon is my m most reliable way to actually break the sub off this Latios, as uh, interesting as that is. Uh, so E-Speed probably won't break the sub, actually, from this. So I'm going to go for the return, which is nice that I had it, and break his substitute. And at this point, uh, he's not going to do a ton of damage to me. Only does a bad half. So I can uh, go for the uh, Belly Drum and go for the E-Speed and do like 70-ish or so percent. That's definitely in revenge killable range from uh, my Negan Adele, which will be nice. Uh, so he sacks his uh, Torn here, which is a fine play. He could have gone to Cabalion because I felt like it was pretty easy for me to go for the uh, E-Speed there because that would be the only way I could actually do damage to the Latios. And uh, as you can see here, he uh, can live two hits from the Cabalion, uh, just because my uh, E-Speed does a little bit under half, but I guess he didn't want his Cabalion to get too weak, and he was okay with sacking the uh, Tornadus. Um, so based off the uh, damage I did with E-Speed, he's not uh, like a max attack, max speed he set. He definitely has a decent amount of bulk. Uh, it's, he's not like max HP, max defense, but he might be like max HP in some other set. Uh, he doesn't have leftover in this either. I'm kind of expecting a uh, maybe like a Shuckaberry to uh, take Inner's power from Landorus. Uh, I'm not quite sure. 
Uh, he goes for the Iron Head, though, and uh, based on this damage, I know he's not, like, too much attack investment. He could have a little bit, but I'm also a bulkier lander set, so I can take it pretty easily. Now, I do want to go for the Rocks here, just because Rocks are very nice to uh, get chip off on the uh, on the Megalodios and the uh, and the Zerora, so uh, my Nangadadel has an easier time to clean up later on. And another thing, uh, a plus two Draco will kill the... Uh, Need a queen after rocks 100%. Uh, I don't have to worry about that. There's a chance it could live as like a assault vest, but uh, with the rocks up, it has a 0% chance to live if he's like a max special defense assault vest, need a queen. Um, but he goes to the Iron Head again here, and he gets another flinch. Uh, so at this point, uh, he goes to the taunt. Uh, I don't know why he didn't taunt earlier. That was just a, a weird play to go for the taunt after getting the flinch twice. But uh, you'll see later on why the chip damage on rocks was not good at all. Uh, and I also don't get any damage on this Cabalion on here because I've been going for Stealth Rocks. Uh, I got Stealth Rocks off at any point, even if I died and got flinched the other times with uh, this Cabalion, I would have been okay with that because I could have revenge killed a Cabalion in that regard. But now that I don't have rocks up and my lander is just basically useless, that's very, very bad here. Um... And I go for the Earth Power on the uh, Cabalion, since I'm taunted. I can't do anything else to it. Go for the Calm Mind there. Um, go for the U-Turn, which is nice. That's enough range where my uh, my Nagadadel can kill with a Draco here. Uh, so I am going to go for the Draco. I got to kill this Megalodios to uh, get a good chance to win here at the end. Uh, so he goes into Forges, which is a fine play. Go for the Sludge. Uh, sludge Wave is not going to kill. It's going to do a ton of damage, though. Uh, but goes for the, it has a Kebia Berry, which is a uh, whole prep in that regard, and goes for the Moonblast. I was kind of expecting a Psychic to a borderline close to take me up, and not quite, but he has Moonblast, maybe also hoping for that special attack drop. Uh, so I get the kill there, and I get a Del, get the speed boost. He goes into Zerora, so I 100% know that he's a uh, that he's adamant Garfed, um, because otherwise he could have gone into like, uh, Nita Queen there to a to take a hit, assuming it's more of a special defensive spread. Uh, and I can kill this with any hit. So I'm going to be forced to sack this just to bring in uh, my Kingler in this regard. And uh, I'll explain here why uh, why not getting rocks up was another bad thing. Uh, so not getting rocks up, uh, Kingler had a pretty good chance to sweep at the end here. Uh, I find out, obviously, he's a scarfed uh, Zerora because... Zara, Zara Aura. It's a weird pronunciation there. Uh, yeah, you mix up with Zorark. But uh, Kingler could win at the end here. Um, if I get two agilities up, because I know he's a Scarfed, I'd have to get two. Because my Kingler is uh, designed to outspeed a, a, a uh, non Scarfed Zara Aura with max speed. So I'd have to get uh, two agilities up instead, which is annoying. But if I had the rock damage up, I could kill everything on his team with a, after rocks damage, b between an X scissor and a liquidation. Liquidation uh, usually kills a Zerora after uh, rocks, even assuming with a little bit of a HP investment, uh, because he can run adamant and not run max speed, so he can run a little bit of uh, EVs into a HP, so even taking in that into account, I could usually kill Kingler, or uh, usually kill Zerora with Kingler with Liquidation. And if uh, two rounds of Stealth Rock damage, here right now he should be at 87. He'd be at 75, now with 100% kill him uh, with uh, Liquidation there. Uh, so because I didn't get Rocks up, uh, another calc is uh, the Megalodios is at 57. Uh, it's not a good, I don't know if it even is a roll for me to kill the... Uh, Latios with uh, Exus right now, but if I got the Rock damage up, I have a very, very good chance to kill with Exus. So, very unfortunate there. I mean, I'm going to kill the uh, Cabalion and the uh, Nita Queen either way, but I really needed that chip damage on the uh, Zerora and the uh, Latios to win. So now I need to get two Agilities and the Sword Stands up in order to win. And he knocks off my, uh, my uh, Life Orb, which isn't a bad play, but that means... Uh, well, he knocks it off now. Which isn't a bad play for him, but that means I definitely need to get a, a Sword Sands up as well at some point. So he goes for the knockoff, uh, hoping he stays in. I'm going to go for another agility, which I do. And uh, at this point, I just have to kill it in front of me. So I have to kill this Nita Queen here, which I do kill, which is nice. 
Uh, I hope I had to get a crit essentially on the Aladios and the Zerorda to win. He goes in the goes in the Cabalion. Now this was not his correct play because I figured out earlier on in the match that he was not a max attack or that much attack investment at all. Now I'm a fairly bulky Kingler, so I'm pretty confident I can live a close combat from this. So I'm gonna go for the Sword Sands right here, and Sword Sands is really my only play either way to have a chance to win. Uh, so he goes for the close combat, does not get the kill. And Liquidation plus Egg Scissor can finish up this match. Even I think Liquidation can finish this match up. But just to be sure, I go for the Egg Scissor on the, uh, the Megalodios. And I do win 3-0 with uh, Big Boy Eugene here. Actually, it's a female. I should change that to male next time. I forgot about that. Um, but uh, good game, Ultra player. Uh, very uh, scary team just because of the bulk that he has. Plus Aurora and Megalodios are very big threats for sure. Uh and the funny thing enough, like, this Kingler sweep wasn't even the most impressive or even the second most impressive sweep of the week. So you'll have to be watching all the other coaches to find out what uh, epic sweeps some coaches had. Uh, but until next time, later, guys.